it's Marco Schwartz from Open Home Automation and I wanted to personally introduce this project. In this project you will learn how to make a Wi-Fi weather station using Arduino and the CC3000 Wi-Fi chip. We are going to build uh, a simple weather measurement station based on Arduino and we will connect this um, weather measurement station to your computer using Wi-Fi and a Node.js app running on your computer. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So before we go any further, I will show you what is the general organization of the project. So how do the different parts of the project uh, connect together? So really the center of the project is, let's say we draw here, is this Arduino Uno board, right? This will be the brain of the project. And connected to the board, there will be two sensors. One is a DHT sensor for temperature and humidity. And the other one is a light level sensor. And connected to the Arduino Uno, there will be um, a Wi-Fi chip, which is a CC3000 Wi-Fi chip. So this will be in constant communication with the Arduino board. And now uh, we will actually access these measurements via the computer. So these big bots here will be our PC. And basically what will happen is that the PC via the node uh, app over there, node, it will send requests to um, the Wi-Fi chip, which will transmit them to the Uno. And the Uno will answer uh, with actually some JSON data, which will be sent directly to the node app. And of course, on the node app, we will not only have this communication part, but we will also have a nice interface so we can uh, visualize the different measurements. So I will now show you what you need to make this project. First, you will need an Arduino Uno board which will really be the center of the project. Then what we will use for Wi-Fi implementation is this guy, which is a workload board for the CC3000 uh, Wi-Fi chip. To make all the connections, you will also need a simple breadboard just over there. Uh, then the sensors. So first we will have a DHT11 uh, temperature and humidity sensor, that is right there. To make the sensor work, we will also need one uh, resistor. I use a one kilo, kilo ohm resistor, but uh, really you can use anything from one kilo to four, five kilo ohm resistor. And then for light level measurements, we'll use a photo cell, which is just here. And finally, we also need um, a ten kilo ohm resistor to go along with the photo cell. And of course, I will use some uh, jumper cables, which is put here, uh, that we will use to make all the connections. So now we are going to assemble the project. The first step is to place the CC3000 Wi-Fi board on the breadboard. Then you need to place the DHT11 sensor also on the breadboard. After that, simply place the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor on the breadboard as well, along with the photo cell on the breadboard and in series with the photo cell, you will also place the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Then we'll take care of the power. So just put a black cable from the Arduino ground to the blue power rail on uh, the breadboard. And now also place a red cable from the Arduino uh, plus five volt pin to the red power rail on the breadboard. After that, we enter into internet the Wi-Fi chip. So I will simply place uh, several tables for each uh, pin that we need to connect uh, on the CC3000 Wi-Fi chip. So actually it's all pins except the 3.3 volts output, which we will not use for this project. So when this is done, uh, you can simply uh, connect the CC2000 uh, Wi-Fi chip to the power and also you can connect all the tables. So 
this is quite messy. I don't want to uh, get the details here, but you can get all the details about the transitions uh, inside the corresponding article uh, on the website Open Up Automation. So when this is done, we will actually connect the sensors. Um, so the first sensor we're going to connect is the DHT11 sensor. So just put a table going to pin number two, uh, put a red table inside pin number one. After that, put a black table into pin number four for the ground and connect uh, the pin number one to the plus five volts, ground to ground, and finally connect the signal pin to pin number seven on the Arduino board. Finally, we're going to connect the photo cell. So for the photo cell, you're going to need uh, also three tables. So one table will go uh, in the middle where the photo cell uh, is connected to the resistor. Then the other side of the resistor will turn to the ground with a black table. And the other side of the photo cell will turn to the positive power supply. So just connect this to the red power rail, uh, black table to the uh, ground, so blue power rail. And finally, the remaining table you connect to the pin A0 of the Arduino board. Okay, so now I will show you how to use uh, the Node.js app that will allow you to monitor remotely via Wi-Fi all the measurements done by the, the project. So, as you can see, I already went into the interface folder of uh, the repository for the, the project. And you have several files, this app.js that we talked about before. And I will just... Um, launch node.js by doing sudo node uh, app.js and let's see let's see what it does as you can see it doesn't work but it complains that it cannot find the module name express and this made sense as we, I didn't install it so I will actually have to type sudo npm install which is package manager for node.js express and I will also need another module called arrest so I do that, it will take a while to install all the modules. So it compiles some modules and then it's, it's, it's installed. So I'll try again, sudo node app.js. And as you can see, now it works. It said it's listening on port 3700. So I will go back to my favorite web browser and actually type in uh, localhost um, 3700. As you can see, it said cannot get slash. This is because I didn't define the main route, but I defined it in slash interface. And as you can see in the interface, I got my Wi-Fi weather station, temperature, humidity, and said it's offline. And as you can see, it just updated, but it's still offline. So what's the problem? The problem is I actually don't have the same IP address as I defined before, because the IP address is uh, attributed by your wireless router. So you will have to change it by hand. So we'll go back to um, the desktop, to the folder uh, in interface, public, you have this GS file. So it's called interface.js. So I will just open this one using my favorite text editor. And as you can see, it's called Wi-Fi, but it's the wrong IP address. So I just changed it back to three. And then I will quit this. Then back to my interface, I will simply um, restart the node.js server. And then I will update this page. So I just updated the page and I will wait for a moment and now you can see it works. So 
it's put at the station is online and you can see the measurement change in, in uh, nearly real time. So I think it's updated uh, every five seconds or 10, se 10 seconds directly by Wi-Fi from the board. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, to go further, the first thing you can do is actually modify the code, uh, test it yourself, and then write some new code to integrate the light level uh, sensor into uh, the project. So it's really simple, it's the same as for a temperature and humidity, you just have to make some reading from the analog uh, pin of the Arduino board and then integrate this into the Node.js app. Of course, you can extend this project by creating more sensors to this board and you can also have many of these boards in your home uh, just by giving them um, several IP addresses. And then you can uh, monitor all these boards from central Node.js interface that you can program yourself. So please, as always, uh, leave your feedback and comments below the video and subscribe to the channel so you can get all the latest news of uh, our channel as soon as a new video uh, is out and I will see you in the next one.